Hello and welcome to my astrology channel. My name is Martine and if you are new here I do videos on Vedic astrology mainly but I also use some tropical insights and I focus on both um, relationship and natal astrology and if you like this video and you would like to see more content from me please like subscribe hit the notifications bell and uh, if you are interested in a personal consultation please email me at the email address that I will leave in the video description and also if you would like to make a donation to support the channel I will leave my PayPal in the video description as well thank you very much any any sum that you would find appropriate would be very helpful um, thank you and now to get into today's topic this is the video that is in continuation with the transits for 2021 for ascendants and this is ascendant in Pisces like I did mention in the previous um, video Capricorn so as usual I will be mentioning which new ascendant I will be covering in the in the next video because I did mention at the beginning of the series that I am not going to do it in the normal regular order of the zodiac and instead I'm just going to select a new uh, ascendant from a bowl of tickets each time I make a video and the next one is going to be um Sagittarius ascendant so stay tuned for that and um, so for today's video like I did mention in the other one so I divided the 2021 transits based uh, on where Jupiter is going to be so Jupiter is going to stay in Capricorn for roughly half the year and uh, it's going to be conjunct Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn and the other half of the year it is moving into Aquarius so I have divided the transits for into two separate charts for 2021 and I will be looking at Saturn Jupiter to a lesser extent Pluto Pluto is only just being mentioned there so Saturn Jupiter Rahu and Ketu Rahu is going to stay in Taurus throughout the entire year and Ketu is going to stay in Scorpio throughout the entire year and also you will be seeing the chart uh, on the screen and uh, you probably notice that little color scheme so the colors mark the aspects that each of these planets make so I have marked the aspects made by Saturn with gray the aspects made by Jupiter with yellow um, the aspects made by Rahu with pink and the aspects made by Ketu with uh, blue right and uh, like I mentioned before, so Saturn in Vedic Astrology aspects the third, the seventh, well, first of all, it aspects the house that it sits in. So it aspects the first, the third, the seventh, and the tenth houses from itself. Uh, Jupiter, Ketu, and Rahu, each of them aspect the first, the fifth, the seventh, and the ninth houses from itself. And these are, all of these houses will be receiving the influences of these respective planets. So now to get into it, so the first thing that I can say is, all right, so, um, right, I'm going to start with chart one um, more specifically. So um, chart one is, as you can see on the screen, from around January 1st to around April 5th, 2021, and also from September 14th to around November 20th, 2021, when Jupiter is in Capricorn. And the first thing that I got, I'm going to be talking about is, in general, about Rahu being in Taurus and Ketu being in Scorpio all year for you Pisces Ascendant folk. And Rahu is going to be aspecting the, so it sits in the third house and it's going to be aspecting the seventh and the eleventh houses as well, which are all of the air houses, which all of them happen to be also relationship and business houses. So this shows me that there's going to be a boost in your courage as shown by the third house um, and there's going to be a tendency and an urge for you to try new things this year um, and you will be seeking novelty and quick gains in general in relationships and uh, matters to do with uh, business so any kind of venture that you might have and uh, 
Business could also mean, of course, your employment if you are simply employed. Um, but it basically any kind of many money making activity is ruled by these houses as well. Um, and also, Ketu being in the ninth in Scorpio throughout the year, aspecting your first and your fi your fifth houses as well, uh, which are all of the fire, creativity, individuality houses. This kind of shows that this year you will you might feel throughout the year a detachment from things to do with uh, personal expression and ultimately selfishness, which can be a good thing. Um, and you're also going to feel a lack of interest in taking care of yourself, which is maybe not a good thing. So a, a detachment with regards to your health and your physical appearance, which definitely is not a good thing. So you need to watch out for that. So this is just a general trend because Rahu and Ketu are staying in the same houses all throughout the year. And to move into more specific descriptions, so the house that is the most important for you in 2021 is also the house that is going to show the area of life that is most important for you in 2021. And it happens to be the 11th because it is the most heavily aspected. So you have Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto conjunct in Capricorn. In Capricorn, well, during this uh, first chart phase, but Saturn and uh, Pluto are still going to be there during the other half of the year, roughly half of the year. But it is still the most heavily aspected house, pretty much, um, especially during this chart one phase. So the 11th house shows the house of, uh, it's, it's literally called the house of gains because it is said to give the results of the 10th house, which is the house of career and uh, social status. So any kind of efforts that you may have put into matters to do with your career throughout the previous years, this year you're going to be reaping the rewards from that. Um, which, uh, depending on obviously how much and what efforts you have put, um, obviously it's going to vary depending on each of you and depending on other aspects in your personal chart and transits as well. But ultimately it's a pretty good aspect to have. The So let me think. Right, Saturn also, as you can see on the screen, I've written there. So it rules the 11th and the 12th houses for you and Jupiter rules the 10th and 1st houses. So all of these houses, the 10th, the 11th, the 12th, and the 1st are uniting in the 11th house, um, which shows an interest and a, a emphasis on willpower and on action, especially to do with networking and your career. So your career, your public image, your personality, you're going to feel a need to really put a lot of effort into networking. It can also show some kind of um, obstacles and frustrations and maybe some difficulties in relation to your older siblings, if you have any. Of course, that also depends on other things in your chart, depending on the, well, depending on how as older siblings are signified in your chart, it could be a positive thing or it could be a negative thing. So, but Saturn being there most likely is going to show some kind of frustrations with regards to the sibling thing. And it's also going to show <clears throat> that um, you're going to be taking relationships a lot more seriously this year. So you're going to just feel a need to put conscious effort into increasing your social circle. And it also shows some kind of a transformation to do with the 11th as well, because Pluto is there. So somehow, like, your your house of relationships this year to do with your, you know, wider circles of acquaintances and friends, this is going to be the most aspected area of your life during 2021. And um, let me see... So, aside from that, this is pretty much as much as I can say about the 11th at this time. Aside from that, so as you can see, the first house is aspected by Saturn and Ketu. This shows that this year you're going to be having a tendency to be a little bit more gloomy and pessimistic than usual. 
which again can result in you isolating yourself more than you should and having a, a sense of detachment from the world, like feeling like you don't really want to assert yourself, you know, kind of staying in the background. And you need to be careful about this because you don't want it to, you know, hinder your ability to network and your ability to get out there and uh, improve your career and your social status issues. And uh, the third house is aspected by Jupiter and Rahu. This is going to show an increased opportunity for possibly local domestic travel. And or um, it will show an increased activity online, obviously. I mean, I think this is probably true for everybody. But in your case, there is uh, like a, a lot of your efforts this year will be concentrated on things to do with technology and most likely the online environment. Could also show some kind of online learning program because Jupiter is aspecting especially during this time. Uh, another thing that it can show is that the relationships with the siblings, especially the younger siblings, are going to be particularly good during this time of the year and you might gain some opportunities from them especially to do with business. So like if you have any kind of self-starting activities, um, it doesn't have to be like you're an entrepreneur, but anything, any ideas that you might have during this time are actually good to be implemented, especially if there are other aspects in your chart that show that maybe you're good at business or something or starting your own thing. This is a good time to really focus on that, uh, improving your business, I guess. And um, the fifth house, as you can see, it's aspected by Saturn, Jupiter, and Ketu. This kind of shows a serious outlook towards romance and dating during this year. It also shows a sense of detachment to do with these things. Detachment maybe towards uh, romance and uh, children to some extent, creativity in general. But it can also show a spiritual need um, connected to fifth house matter. So maybe this time you're going to be dating somebody who is a spiritual person, spiritually inclined. And it can also show a detachment towards um, anything to do with speculative activities. So you're definitely not going to be interested in, I don't know, playing the lottery, winning the lottery. Um, Jupiter aspecting it, it can also show an interest to start something, some kind of education that is spiritual or you will have a, a spiritual attitude towards your education. You're going to feel the need to focus on, on knowledge that is going to increase your spiritual value and your spiritual outlook in the world. And, um, it also can show... Um, attend, actually, especially for women, because the seventh house is also affected by Rahu and Jupiter, um, it can show that there is an increased opportunity to maybe start a relationship during this time, because Jupiter is the husband significator for the for women, and uh, Rahu shows some kind of foreign influence, like foreign influence on the seventh house basically means like again, if there are other aspects in your chart, for instance, that show foreign travel. Uh, not foreign travel, not just foreign travel, but um, foreign husband, sorry, so foreign spouse. Um, this could be a good time to actually get married to somebody from a foreign culture. Um, and it all, especially with Jupiter there, so during this uh, time when Jupiter is aspecting the seventh as well, it's particularly pronounced. Or, at the very least, it can show an interest to develop some kind of... So, like, if you have any kind of romantic interests, uh, it is, it's most likely going to be somebody of foreign origin or somehow from a different culture than your own. Um, the eighth house being aspected by Saturn shows that you should be particularly cautious with regards to your finances, especially joint finances, if you have any. Um, but it also shows like throughout the year, because this is going to be throughout the year, Saturn is going to stay in Capricorn. Um, you need to be cautious with regards to how you manage your finances, obviously. Again, this is probably true for everybody during this year, but 
uh, with you, it is especially true since Saturn aspects the eighth, which shows that anything to do with like bank loans, for instance, or like if you take a if you already have a mortgage or if you want to take a bank loan, there's going to be hardships and frustrations to do with this, especially if if um, well. No, not especially, no. Well, of course, you also have to look at what other planets are placed there and, like, what other influences you have in a, your natal chart. But just based on this general aspect, this is what I can say. Um, the ninth house is, you know, this is where K2 sits. So, like I did mention, there will be a sense of detachment from religion during this year. Um, like, or at least... Sorry. not Not necessarily religion, but, like, somehow... Actually, yeah, it's more likely that like, this year, for instance, if you are somebody who was part of a, an organized religion, like you adhered to a certain organized religion, it is likely that you're going to feel a decrease in interest. You're going to be maybe starting to doubt yourself or you're just going to lose interest. Like somehow you're going to lose interest towards organized forms of religion and you might but you might also become more spiritual conversely. So you might be looking for your own definition of what spirituality is. And um, and also in the ninth, so like it also shows detachment or lack of interest to do with uh, higher education. So like if you are planning on getting your master's and above, especially PhD and above or any kind of specialized courses, before this, um, now this year because of Ketu's influence, you're you're going to maybe drop those plans. Like you're gonna feel less interested. Of course, depending on other aspects in your chart. And uh, that's pretty much it. So moving on to the chart two phase. So. So the chart two phase, as you can see on the screen, is from April around April 5th, 2021 to around September 14th, 2021. And uh, from around November 20th, 2021 until December 31st, 2021. And um, so what is going to change during this time is the fact that Jupiter will move into Aquarius, like I said. So it's moving into the 12th house which signifies many things. So the 12th house is, uh, for instance, it stands for long distance travel, it stands for um, hidden enemies, losses, things which are not so nice. It also stands for, um, actually stands for isolation. So like isolated places, things like asylums, prisons, and all this stuff. Hopefully you're not in prison, but <laughs> Like Jupiter, any Jupiter is a benefic, so anything that it touches will tend to get better. So, um, and also the twelfth house is the house of bed pleasures, quote unquote, um, or secret affairs. So um, Jupiter being there, this tells me that, and it's also aspecting. So you can see the yellow colors there. So it's going to be aspecting the fourth, the sixth, and the eighth houses. So this time, actually, during this chart two uh, phase, you're going to see a strong increase of spirit of interest in spirituality. But it's going to be more likely, like I mentioned um, before, it's going to be probably your own version of a religion. So like not your own version. It's not like you're going to start a cult or something, but you're going to be looking for your own individual um, definition of of the divinity. And you're, you know, it, like I said, you're not probably not going to be gravitating towards organized religions, but you're also conversely going to be way more spiritual during this time because Aquarius is actually the most spiritual sign of the zodiac. So Jupiter, the house of beliefs, is falling into Aquarius. The, sorry, the planet of belief system is falling into Aquarius and into your 12th house, which 12th house, among other things like prison and bed pleasures, also stands for um, higher um, higher knowledge and uh, faith, especially, not just higher knowledge. So the feeling of faith and for intuition. So all of these things will be particularly highlighted during this year and uh, during this time. And um, especially... 
there will be a positive influence because of this. So your belief system is going to uplift your um, entire view of the world, your personality. So aspecting the fourth house shows that your home environment will be more pleasant during this time. So it could be that somehow you're going to be able to improve your living conditions. Maybe you're going to move into a nicer place or or you're going to redecorate your place that makes in a way that makes it more comfortable. Um, something to do with your living circumstances will become more comfortable and more pleasant unless Jupiter in your unless you have like, you know, bad 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 influences on your fourth house in the in the natal chart but even if you do have them it will still be like a little bit of an, an improvement but it will probably not be too drastic so uh, and also the fourth house shows relations to your immediate family and to your mother or any kind of female relative so all of those will be improved during this time and um, aspect on the sixth house basically shows your work environment and since in your chart jupiter rules the tenth and the first houses it shows that your career and your social image and your personality somehow is going to be impacting your health and also your um everyday activities so it could be that I don't know, you get an increase of job opportunities during this time, You're an opportunity to, to um, get a new job, for instance, or it could be, another thing that it can show is, like, somehow there will be increase of uh, competition at work, uh, or an increase in, in competition with regards to obtaining work, but most likely what it shows is like what I'm feeling is like it could bring the envy of people around you. Like there could be envious people in your workplace or in your career or something. And that can affect you like in your day to day activities or something. Um, but most likely it's not going to be too negative because the sixth house is also the house of enemies to some extent. Um, it's also the house of pets, so Jupiter being uh, aspecting the six can also show that you're going to improve your health during this time, and it can also show an increased um, desire to get a pet, perhaps. And the eighth house is the house of, well, like I said, joint ventures, joint finances, loans, mortgages. And it's also the house of occultism and sexuality and all that stuff. Um, but with regards to the 8th house, because now Jupiter is also aspecting the 8th, this shows that during this time you will have increased uh, joint finances. So the joint finances aspect will increase. Your mortgage might, de might decrease or your debt might decrease. In some way, you know, your joint finances will improve during this time, very likely. They might even, yeah, pretty much, yeah. So aside from that, right, it's right, right. Also, yeah, so joint finances and also your ability to take out a loan if you need one or if you want one is going to improve during this time. So. You know, if you're going to the bank and talking to somebody, you're going to seem more trustworthy during this time. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So, this is it. This is pretty much what I wanted to say. And, uh, thank you. And, if you, once again, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. Um, if you're interested in a personal consultation, please email me at the email address that I will write in the video description. And also, if you want to donate anything for the channel, please access the... PayPal link that I will leave in the video description. Um, thank you.